Hi, this is Patrick from Bimobjek, and here I will show you the uh, new released Steny uh, facade placement add-in uh, for Revit, uh, Revit 2014 to 16. Uh, what you need to do uh, to uh, use this add-in is to be a registered user at bimobjek.com and then locate the actual product page for this solution on, on the bimobjek.com portal. So when you found it here, the Steny system solution, uh, you have some uh, information about it here. Uh, just as any regular product and under the downloads tab here you have an installation the exe file so if you download that and then locate that on uh, on your hard drive uh, let's say it's here uh, usually I install it uh, by click and run as administrator so right click and run as administrator uh, that's always the best way to get it working uh, click through the steps here you can see your destination folder here install it uh, really a quick process and click finish and what happened then is that you install the uh, add-in for all the uh, Revit versions you have installed. Second step is to click the download button again here and you can see the zip file here with all the needed families uh, for the add-in. Uh, so these families you need to download as well as under any Steny color article the, uh, the material library for Revit uh, which also contains textures if needed. So when I'm in a project here, I have a preloaded project here. Uh, you can see here the folder structure, which uh, which is in the zip files of the families you just downloaded. Uh, what you need to do is you need to drag all of these in into your active project like this. Because if you don't do this, the add-in won't be able to find it. As you can see here, I've already preloaded in all the families. Uh, and then, then you're pretty much ready to go. Uh, so as you can see up here, uh, I've already gone into the Steny Applications menu. Uh, you have the possibility to place horizontal or vertical panels. For this demo, I'll show you the horizontal ones. Uh, and when I click the button, you can see I can highlight the walls here. So if I click a highlighted wall, I will be prompted with a dialog box. And it's in this dialog box with this user interface where you do all the settings. As you can see here, we have all the preloaded families. Uh, the uh, the uh, buttons of the slap, uh, the, the panels and the, all the profiles and so on which is needed, also the corner profiles. Second here under the frames you can set how far in to the wall uh, the actual pro, uh, panels go, so there's a, there's a gap of percentage here. Uh, also if you need a reinforcement uh, bat, button at the, at the mid, at the center of the panels, uh, depends on the size of the panels. Uh, you have to consult any documentation for this. And also the panel settings here. Here, of course, you set the size of the panels you want to use, uh, constrained from Steny's, um, Steny's measurements, of course. Uh, also the gapping between the panels, uh, the default value uh, is set uh, a standard, uh, but you can also give it a custom value uh, to increase or decrease the gap you get when you place the panel. So in this example, I set these for five millimeters. Uh, and in the final box down, you have profiles, which is profiles who runs vertically and horizontally behind or between the panels to stabilize everything. I'm not going to use any in, in this example here uh, because of the time to place. Uh, but when I click place frames and panels here, you can see in the background that the system is working out how the panels should be placed. So it's uh, placing the full sized ones and also the the panels that are around the windows, which needs to be cut to actually fit around the opening. And as you can see, it, it keeps calculating. It takes Revit a bit of time to calculate all the uh, the cuts and so on. But when it's done, uh, you can see here how the facade panel is is placed. Um, all of these these panels and the buttons, of course, and uh, all, all the geometries that geometry that, that is placed is individual geometry. So you can always go in afterwards and ed edit these. Um, as you can see, I can select one individual panel. Uh, I, I can I can alter these in size um, and, and in color and material, of course. Um, and if you're not satisfied with your first placement, you can always go up here to de delete the facade panels. You just click the delete button, the wall, and then yes you can start over. So if we go in here in the menu again to do a alteration to this, uh, we click on the horizontal here and click, I can click this little uh, wall slat over here. And uh, if I go into, for example, click the continuous panel here, you will see an overlapping layout of the panels instead of the uh, square layout we had 
on the first placement. And since there's no openings here, you can see how very quick it calculates. Uh, and here, when it's placed, you can see it's an overlapping placement of the panels. So this is a, a, a creativity possibility you have as well. Uh, so if I go down and I place the same, uh, the same system here on the bottom wall, and I cut that placement uh, time out there to make this video a bit quicker. So as you can see here now, I've placed the facade panels over both both these walls and uh, can edit these as much as I want. I see that the placement didn't really work out on the top wall, so I'll remove that for now. Uh, and then I can go in here, uh, zoom in a little bit, and I can select individual panels as I stated before. Uh, and this is where you can be really creative. Uh, in this case, for example, in the parameters here, uh, you can change the width of the panel so you can adjust them and, or, and edit them to pretty much any liking. Uh, you can do uh, more irregular patterns if you would like to. Uh, of course, as I mentioned before as well, you can change the, the color of these uh, as long as you load it in the, uh, the Steny material library, which is provided uh, as well at, at bimobject.com. Uh, so I select this panel here and maybe I can select several panels as long as they're uh, of the same of the same type here. Uh, and then I go to the material parameter here and I select another stainy color material here. Let's see, uh, like take this uh, more darker red one. Uh, and you can use this technique to do all kinds of facade patterns uh, and designs for throughout your entire building. So if you're interested in to looking uh, to look into more to this, uh, it's all available for you at the beamobject.com portal. Thank you for watching.